He's good, but I'm better. Sometimes. Not really. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Black Mamba Corvette Assassin. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a very nice piece of artwork of Corvette Assassin, aka Sideswipe Corvette Assassin. On the side of the box, we have Sideswipe. On the other side of the box, we have pictures and things, names, stuff, stuff, things up top. Corvette Assassin on the bottom, words and things, things and stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, yada, yada, yada. And we can open up the front flap here, and we have that same artwork, feel commode, and here, the tray where everything is housed, bloody, 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 and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Corvette Assassin. Now, when I first saw pictures of this figure, I thought this was an upscale of the uh, Studio Series version, and uh, they just modded it to put the roof back on the car. But no, this is actually an upscaled version of the old sidearm sideswipe mold from back in the uh, Revenge of the Fallen days, in between Revenge of the Fallen and uh, Dark of the Moon from the Nest line. And uh, that's what this is an upscale of. And it's not a bad mold, and I do quite like it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have kind of a Corvette-ish type emblem here up front, done in red and black. You got the front grille here, done in black. Let's line that up a little bit better. There we go. It's the front grille, done in black. You got Transclear and plastic there for the headlights. Got a nice smoky transparent plastic there for the windshields and the windows. And you can see a lot of silver going on, just a whole lot of silver and it looks very, very nice in my opinion. Now these side view mirrors are done in a rubbery material there, so you don't have to worry about breaking those. And you got the taillights done in a nice transparent red. The exhaust right there. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He does have uh, rubber tires, which is nice. He rolls as rolling things should. It rolls quite smoothly. So there you have a lot. And for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series Deluxe Sideswipe, just because. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. Now I'm not sure if this is proper scale. I'm sure the car enthusiast will know for sure, but that but it seems to work for me anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> but there you have that. And here he is with Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So now let's run through the accessories. Uh, he does come with two guns right here. They're both the same mold. And you can see, done in a nice silver with some black there on the barrels. And you get some black section back here, which is on hinge. I can move up and down for reasons. And you get two of those. Um, as far as storage goes, I haven't found any way to store these on the vehicle mode. I did. I don't. I, I don't know. the The instructions don't even acknowledge that the weapons exist. So I, I don't know. Now. On the original sidearm side swipe mold, uh, these panels back here could flip up and you can attach the guns under them like that. So you kind of has like a battle mode, but on this one, you can't really flip these up. And even if you can, there's no way to actually attach them there. There are little slots here, but the tab that's under this panel is way too big for these. Um, so I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, but that's something you can figure out for yourself if you buy this figure. Me personally, I don't care about weapon storage. Not a necessity for me, as long as I can hold the weapons in their hands, that's really all I care about. But You also do get his two arm blades here, also done in silver. And he's just pegged into his hands, we'll shut it off when we get to robot mode, but again, as far as storage goes, I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, the instructions don't even acknowledge these exist, so I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> But that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> you can still get a spin out of him, even with the rubber tires. <laughs> so, 
to transform him, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with these side panels here. Just pop these out. It will pop all of this out. Bring that out to the side. Pop that out. Bring that out to the side like so. Once you've done that, we come under here. We want to untab his legs. They tab in right up in there. So you just give him a little tug and untab them like so. And just bring them down. And that will then allow you to come up here to this front section and untab this. And then you can pull his arms out to the side like so. Just swing those out like that. Once you do that, this entire assembly here with his legs will just swing forward and then you can take this hood section here and all of this and bring this back and that will just clip in right in there like so. And that stays in place nicely. And then you just take his legs, just kind of bring him back, chicken leg him a bit. And then we bring out his toes because he needs these to stand up. These pieces are made of die cast. And you take the foot here and you rotate it around. If you want to leave the wheel facing out, totally up to you. Your toy display it however you wish, but I believe it's supposed to be inward like that. And same thing on the other side, just kind of chicken leg him. Bring out the toes and the heels and flip that around. And there you go. So now we can work on the upper body. So, you want to come back here, just kind of untab this section right here, and you want to rotate this entire assembly, and as you do so, it's funny because there's some, like, molded detail that gets revealed that you only see when you turn this piece, which is kind of funny, but you just finish rotating that around, and voila, there's his head. And once you do that, you just want to take this section here and just untab all of this, bring this section up, you can bring this section up as well, because you kind of need to get up under here so you can pop his head up. So get his head out, bring that up like that. At this point now, we can bring his chest down. Make sure the arms are far enough back so you have your clearance. Bring that down, and this will just tab in right up in here. This doesn't go all the way back. You can see it kind of gets, kind of stops right there. There's still some space there. And that's as far back as it'll go. I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. But then we have that. So now, let's get these out of the way here, and we'll work on this backpack piece. You take this section here, this just pops up, and you swing this around. These sections here, you rotate and rotate, and all of this will just flip under like so and you just bring these in that'll just kind of sit like that i believe anyway again the instructions aren't super clear about some of this stuff so i could be missing something i probably am i believe they are supposed to you see there's a tab in here there's a tab in here and there's a little slot kind of up in there so i believe they're supposed to just kind of sit right there but again, it doesn't, it's not a secure lock, but it's not going to move around on you either. Once that backpack's in place, so it's not going to wiggle around or anything. And you take this section here, and that just flips up. This one's this is pretty tight. There we go. Bring that up like that. And there you have his backpack pretty much done. You take these sections here, just bring them back. And this section up here, you just swing that down like so. And just bring it up, swing that back, take this, and just swing it down like that. It gives him his little wings. And as far as the arms go, just make sure you have those shoulders as far back as they will go. You rotate the arm up, you rotate at the bicep, and then for his hands, let's come down a little bit here. Take this front section here, swing it out to the side. Come under here, flip out his hand, take this section and swing it under like so. And then you just take the shoulder and just push it up. And there you have an arm all done. Second vest is just like the first. Just rotate that up and pop that up now if you want. Rotate that around, bring that out to the side, flip out the hand 
bring that down and I think we're done are we done yes we're done we we're done and there you have Corvette Assassin aka Sideswipe in his robot mode and he's a good looking Sideswipe I must say I never messed with the original version of this mold this is my first time messing with this mold and uh yeah I dig it I dig it I mean I have my nitpicks about it but otherwise not too bad, not too bad. So let's get in close, not on his chest, on his noggin. There's the noggin. That's it, pretty nicely done head sculpt. We got some nice blue there for the eyes. Overall, nicely done head sculpt there. Get some nice detail there on the abdominal region. Get some bits of kind of like a Kind of like a bronzish color going on in there. Some more silver. His hands. He's got a silver crotch. Hey, why not? Everything else is silver. You got some details there. Also picked out in paint. Wheel feet. And moving up the back. Yeah, not much of a backpack. He's got the wings going on here, but the uh, backpack itself is pretty minimal. You get some little bits of red in there, which looks quite nice. It pops. Gives a little bit of pop. Oh no, not too bad. I do wish that this chest piece did come back a lot further, so it actually kind of sits flush here. That's a little bit, eh, that bugs me a little bit, but oh no, not too bad. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You don't really get too much wiggly waggly, but he can, he can look totally up. Can do squirrel, can totally do that. I uh, can look down slightly. Head can rotate, but that ball joint is quite snug on mine, but the head can rotate. Arms. Can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Again, you can kind of shift the shoulders up and down if you want to, if you need to. You got bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, as far as wrist movement, you just have that downward movement due to transformation. Um, nothing at the waist. Legs can move forward that far, back, only that far. These pieces here are made of rubber, and uh, you can see sometimes they can kind of like unpeg themselves. You're moving them around. Boop, get back in there, get back in there. Get back in there, I said. Get, 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 get. It doesn't want to get. Okay, I'll fight with you later, I'm busy. But <laughs> they can move forward, they can move back. You have about that much outward movement. You have a little bit of thigh rotation there, which again can I dislodge these pieces here. As far as the knees, you have under 90 degrees and bend right here. You can see how that those little pistons and hydraulics kind of move around with it. And you also have a joint there as well. That gives you about that much movement. And you have rotation out of the feet, and that is pretty much it. And then you know, these little toe and heel pieces can move inward if you need to support any poses. And of course we can give him his weapons, we can give him his guns, and they just plug right in. And he does hold those nice and securely. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So you can do all kinds of that if you wish. Or you can give him his arm blades here, and they also just peg into his hands like so. And like so, you do that. So you can slash, 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 and you can do all kinds of that if you wish. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series Sideswipe. Here he is with Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. Here he is with his Mexican standoff partner, Masterpiece Movie Ironhide. And here he is with Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime. And this is my knockoff version, but it's the exact same figure, exact same size. So, there you go. So there you have Corvette Assassin. Um, you know, it's a knockoff, but it's a really good quality knockoff. As far as quality goes, everything feels good, everything feels solid, sturdy. 
the only real complaint I have about the figure is just this, uh, this you know, abdomen piece just not sitting as flush to the body as I would like, but otherwise, pretty nicely done. So, there you go. Now I pick this up from a TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Black Mamba Corvette Assassin, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pull me in your face. Hey there, sup. So, uh, there are no, uh, no Decepticons around here. No, yeah, no, no, I don't, uh, I don't see any. So we, uh, can't do that thing. No, no, I don't believe we can do that thing. You want to dance anyway? Sure. I, 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 I,